In this video, we will look at how to draw a box and whisker plot when we don't have any outliers. In a previous video, we looked at the weights of 9 men and found the 5 number summary. We will need these 5 values in order to draw our box and whisker plot, so let's do a quick review. First, we determine the minimum, the smallest number in the list. Then, we determine the maximum, the largest number. After making sure our numbers were listed in size order, we then eliminated pairs of numbers, starting first with the smallest and the largest, then moving inwards until we found the middle number, the median. Our next step was to find the lower quartile, also known as Q1. To do this, we found the median of the lower half of the values, ignoring the median. Since there are two numbers in the middle of the lower half, the lower quartile is the average of these two numbers. The lower quartile, Q1, is 179.5. We then found the upper quartile, also known as Q3. We found the median of the upper half of the values. Since there are two numbers in the middle, the upper quartile is the average of these two numbers. The upper quartile, Q3, is 198. Now that we recall how to find the five number summary, let's learn how to draw the box and whisker plot. Start by drawing a vertical line on which to place or scale. The men's weights range from 173 pounds to 204 pounds, so I've chosen to start from 170 and count by tens. To create the box in our display, we draw a horizontal line at the median, 187. The width of this line is up to you. We draw another horizontal line at the lower quartile, Q1, which is 179.5 in this example. A third horizontal line should be drawn at 198, the upper quartile, Q3. Once we have the line for the median and both quartiles, we make our box by joining these three lines. Now, we put a smaller line at 173, the minimum. This is the end point of our box's first whisker. We put another small horizontal line at 204, the maximum. Now we can draw our second whisker. It is important to note that if we had outliers, this step would be slightly different. We will discuss an additional step that we would need to take in a future video. This is what our finished box and whisker looks like. From this display, we not only see our five number summary, we get a better sense of where our values lie. Since 25% of our numbers are in between the minimum and the lower quartile, 25% of our numbers are between the lower quartile and the median, 25% of our numbers are between the median and the upper quartile, and 25% of our numbers are between the upper quartile and the maximum. Here's what we've learned in this video. A box and whisker displays the maximum, minimum, median, lower quartile, and upper quartile. A box and whisker displays the spread showing where each quartile lies. A box and whisker with outliers will look slightly different.